It's an iPhone operated stethoscope. You plug in the HeartBuds unit to, the, to your iPhone, uh, you get, bring your own headphones and plug that in, and then um, it operates just like a stethoscope. You put the head unit to the patient, listen to their heart sounds, their lung sounds, their abdomen, their neck. Um, anywhere you, your doctor uses a stethoscope, you can use the heart buds. It is extra portable compared to uh, traditional stethoscopes. Um, and when it's fully wireless, we think that it would be extremely portable compared to a normal stethoscope. As far as its applications, um, we think that it has a lot of applications in telemedicine where patients can essentially have their own stethoscope, record their own sounds, and send it to a physician to uh, analyze. It comes from listening to our patients. Uh, you know, many people uh, come to our office and say, my heart last night did this, and they, they tap it, you know, that, that, like that. And when, you're, when you listen to that and you hear what they're saying to you, you know, A, you're trying to validate what they're saying, and they, they want that validation too. So the initial idea came from that, from listening to our patients and that inability to, to, to tell us and explain to us what is that that they felt, that palpitations as we describe it. So the idea of this mobile stethoscope came from that. I mean, from what is portable is the iPhone. And if you have an, a gadget, that are, an accessory that allows you to now to record your lungs, your heart sounds, and send it to us now, you get a portable clinic, and if you add a few other things, there's nothing that cannot be at your doctor's office that we cannot now get to you. This is a, the device, and essentially what it is, is it's the portable stethoscope. You put it on, and this is the part go that plugs right to your, your plug to your iPhone, and then you can record, transmit, share that data with anybody. So your phone is, is, is your medical device, really. And this is accessory to your medical device. Basically, um, the purpose of the study was to demonstrate that it works just as well as stethoscopes that doctors use. Um, and what we found was it, it works just as well and it works significantly better than disposable stethoscopes, which are used in ICU settings and um, with patients that are high infection rate, uh, risks. The important thing to um, recognize here is that this stethoscope could be produced for a pretty affordable price. And so this, it, it personalizes the stethoscope to each patient um, versus having a common uh, device that physicians use and transmit germs and so on and so forth. The, the technology of the iPhone, like if we go back to the iPhone 3, uh, we, we, could, we had never been able to do this. We needed the software in the phone to be able to process the data to be able to acquire and analyze that data, change the filter settings and so forth. So it is the, the technology in the phone that allows to finally be able to a, expand to the iPhone. And in clinical applications, that is probably where I'm more excited about. So let's take a couple of examples. The first one is, patient is in our ICU, and we know there's a problem with hospital acquiring infections across you know, the United States. A, a big problem for our patients. And one of the ways we're fighting this, and this is how we initially said, wow, what if, if we can take this development into our institution and say, instead of having multiple doctors listening to the patient and bringing bacteria through the stethoscope, we have one per patient that is assigned to that patient, records the sounds by a trained medical assistant, that data can now go to my office where I can remotely examine that patient or in a nursing unit where you can listen to several patients without having to introduce bacteria to that one patient. So one of the potential applications is improving the workflow in the unit and reducing perhaps the cross carry carriage of bacteria from patient to patient. A second application that is happening is if you travel with your family, your kid may have an asthma problem, or now you have a way to connect back, video, listening, you get inspection, you get auscultation, and say, please help me out. This is what my kid is experimenting. So it is that remote monitoring,
but also improvement of the workflow uh, that, that we see so valuable in what we're doing. With increased technology and increased access to healthcare, that's a problem across the board. Um, and certainly, you will have an overzealous patient that might ha think any little tidbit um, is worth sharing with their doctor. Because you're making it so quick and so easy to do so, it's also quick and easy for a physician to listen and tell, reassure a patient that, hey, this is fine. You're, you're going to be fine. And like you said, uh, any cardiac issues are pretty stress-inducing. And so I think having that increased access to your cardiologist will help relieve your stress a little bit more. I think it's, it's, you know, it's like when the echocardiogram first came to life, that it was supposed to replace stethoscopes. Stethoscopes, we still use them. And I don't think that we're going to eliminate tomorrow all stethoscopes around the world. What I see is, is as a complementary role in that setting for the patients now to be at home, the internet is there, the global web is there, we now can connect. So that's really one of the biggest roles I see is that now I don't have to leave my home, I can connect to you, or I'm in the hospital, listen, let's, let's e evaluate these people at one. But I don't envision that we're going to just throw away overnight the 200-year the, the stethoscope that we have, no. Very exciting. I mean, I, number one, we, we want to continue a, applying the technology in both areas. In the hospital setting, as a tool to hopefully improve workflow and fight infections, we want to uh, utilize it for telemonitoring uh, in combination with blood pressure cuff, weight scales, otoscopes, that mini portable clinic that you'll be able to travel with and have at home and connect to your local provider. We, we absolutely believe that uh, most data out there says perhaps 50% of all visits will be done over the internet and it will save you the time to go to a local emergency department or urgent care. This is one step I think where medicine will be five years from now. It's the beginning.